Yeah, great. And Mark, to be honest, Mark didn't turn up. And I, I was kind of practicing on the board next to him, watching what he was doing. I'm a, I'm a dance geek, so I like to keep an eye on what people are doing, and I, I could see what was happening. So I'm, I'm talking about he didn't perform at all, but that's a debut at Ali Pali. That's what it does to you. So he wasn't comfortable up there. And I actually said, after the second break, I said to him, relax. And I tried to actually focus on him and say, just relax and enjoy it. And I actually said that to him. But I want to play good darts. I want to beat someone that's playing good darts back at you. When he's not, when he's not playing his best, that's, it's, a, it's a kind of hollow win, but I'll take it. Don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he was nervous at the start, but he, he grew into the game. It got better mentally for you. How is that? You don't get embroiled in the match, but you seem quite relaxed about it. Yeah, and, and I think I had a plan. I've had a plan all week. I've probably had a plan for the last couple of months to try and get the crowd on my side, and it, it absolutely worked. What, what happened out there worked for me because the Scotland get battered thing was suppressed. It was coming from the back of the hall where they're not listening and they're not watching the darts. So I kind of managed to keep that calm. And first throw. It was a 180 and it just got people on my side so I'm really happy that people are supporting me. There's, there's a lot of support at the front there from English people, not, not Scottish fans, so it was great. Uh, Dalgurney up next, he's not, he's not the best one he's ever been in, so he must have really fancy chances against him. Where's he from? I never, Daryl <laughs> Gurney. <laughs> nah, he's a, he's a very good player, he's a major winner, you know, and he's a Premier League player, so... I know what you're saying about forum, but that's that's not got a bearing on that stage. You know, Daryl could turn up and be amazing. So I need to be better tomorrow. I definitely need to be better. Well done, Ted. Thank you. Alan, congratulations. Did you get a warm feeling coming up Muswell Hill this morning after what happened last year? I, I did. As I said, I was talking when we were driving up. I was like, I'm not that excited yet, which is good because you're just relaxed about things. And then as I got closer to the venue, I was like, yeah, now we're here. Now, now it's time to go. But it was, it's a different feeling this year, there's more people here, it's, it's, it feels more relaxed from Covid from last year, so yeah, it was nice coming up the hill and, and being here for the first time again this year. The run you had last year, is there a bigger weight of expectation on your shoulders to repeat that and, and go one better? Yeah, I feel it from home, I feel it from Scotland and all the press stuff I've been doing and all the social media stuff and I feel it, I feel people think I can do the same again and you know, Ali Pali's a big beast and I think people maybe expect you to do the same again, but I'll, I'll go out tomorrow and try and beat Daryl, and then you're then you're fighting for the same again. So I'm I'm a strong character, so I'll try my hardest. The run you had at the Grand Slam, how much confidence did you take from that heading in towards Ali Pali? Because TV form is so important. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's probably one of the biggest things I've, I've played in the Grand Slam because of the TV. The group stages were great. And you had more TV exposure, more TV stage time, and. I think the more you play in them kind of things, the more that you'll be a better stage player. And playing on the Pro Tour is great, and, and everyone can play on the Pro Tour. It's, it's ridiculous, as you know. But you need to bring a stage game, you need to find that stage game. And I, I think the Grand Slam done me at the world. Over the last two years, the, the Alan Suter journey, you keep on about the plan that you've got. Are you ahead of where you wanted to be at, when you first started drawing up this plan right now? I don't know, what did I tell you? That might, can you remember what you told us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, way above. I think way above. You know, keep it, the, the initial thing was keeping the tour card. And then you think, wait a minute, you're close to the top 32 now. You could maybe get inside the, the elite of world darts. And I'm still a part-time dart player. Come on, I'll tell you this every single time. If I practice as much as these guys, I'm better than most of these guys. Pleasure. Sure. So it's um, your uh, colleagues up at Dundee's Kingsway station or on Twitter did Grafton today in the shift. <laughs> um, but, 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 but I believe that you've, um, you've made a nice gesture towards them. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I paid for Christmas dinner today. So they get, they, my shift are having Christmas dinner this, this afternoon. So it's not, it's, it's not a token gesture. It's just a little thing that I'm, I'm not there you know, a lot of the time. And, the guys cover for me, so my own shift to be much at the Kings Bay or having Christmas dinner today. So I really hope they got to sit and watch that another Christmas dinner. And uh, I got a little bit on the stage at the end with Polly and gave him a little bit of a bit of a boost. So hopefully the guys got to see that today. So the support from those guys in your work and also the guys back in our both, how much of a lift is that given you? It's probably the most. They're, they're my work colleagues. You know, I, I, I'm not like most of the top 32. I've got a job, so. I, they're my mates, they're my, my best mates, my work colleagues, my, my buddies that I do golf and whatever else with. So if they are involved in this journey, then I absolutely love that. Um, Alan, 
we know obviously about everything that goes on with your work. What is your your kind of schedule for the next couple of weeks? <laughs> I'm here tomorrow. Yeah. So I can play tomorrow. <laughs> that's great. And then the fight we get has to give me four days off, which is oh, unheralded really for a sporting event because you don't normally do that. But I think they get good media coverage and good press coverage. So I've got four days off. Um, Regardless of the Darrow result, I'm going home on Monday and I'll be back at work on the 23rd. I'm working 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Okay. That's my job. Yeah. Um, going into that match against Darrow, some people are probably looking at you as a favourite or possibly beating Darrow. How do you react to that? And... Do you know what? Don't write people off. Don't, don't, don't take guys from the top 32 and say they're not good enough to beat a guy from outside the top 32. I know I've had a good run recently, but... Darrell's a class player and he's actually a really good guy as well, so there's a friendship thing there. I, I, I think he's a great guy, great player, so I, I'm going to go home tonight and have a bit of a practice mm -hmm. and sort of tighten up maybe my scoring. My scoring was terrible there. Yeah. I just couldn't find the, the treble 20, so I need to do that tomorrow against Darrell because you know what he's like on one age and if he's, he's left on 32, I'm beat, so I need to be better tomorrow against, yeah. against Darrell. Used to the cold up in our broth. What's it like down here in London? By the way, honestly, it is very cold. And I know I, I watched Keane's game last night, and I could see what he was mouthing. And yeah. I got a t-shirt to wear underneath, and thought I'll be all right. And it is cold. It's, it's cold outside. It's not. It's not the venue's problem. It's, it's actually freezing in the UK. So mm -hmm. it's just something that you've, as a dark player, cold fingers are not a good good scenario. So I think tomorrow we'll maybe have some mission hand warmers and then um, get myself. Back in the game. Cheers, so it's, yeah. so it's, um, is it important for you to be the underdog in your mind? Is it to, to remain that person? I don't know. I play, I play it down all the time, as you know. I always say I'm, I'm doing this as a hobby and I'm a, I'm a part time dark player, so I'd probably make myself an underdog, but I know I can, I know I can beat these guys. And I, I know I can beat Daryl, but I need to get my best to beat Daryl. You know, I've beat him on the Pro Tour, but I was probably playing really good then in Milton Keynes, but now it's different. And, I don't even know the averages from that game, but it wouldn't have been good. So I need to be a lot better against Darko. I, I do like being under the radar, and I think people appreciate the the sort of underdog route, and they call it the dark horse, and if they've got their bets on, and their, their sort of fantasy league teams and that. So I'm quite happy to be in that and get some people points. The reason I ask you that is it's unusual for you to say on television that uh, you can win this tournament. Do you stand by that? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that about any of the any of the guys who are here though, or any of the contestants who are here? I don't think you can say it about any of the contestants. There's 96 players, well, not not now, but there's there's 96 players that start the tournament. There's not 96 players that can win this, but I think if you're pushing, if you're in the top 40 in the Pro Tour, top 40 in the world, I think you can win this. You know, all you need to do is look at guys that have won Pro Tour events. They beat the best players in the world to win that Pro Tour. So Keegan Brown, Josh Rock, there's guys that you. You don't automatically think of as the best players in the world, but they've won Pro Tours. So if, if you can win a Pro Tour, if you can go deep in tournaments, I, I fancy a run here. I fancy taking Darrow, so I'll try my best. If you win half a million, that's some, some party you can give your guys at work again? Uh, no, I'll just get them cakes, 12 quid or something, you know, that'll be about it. But they're, they're not getting any more. They've had Christmas dinner today, that's enough. Okay, well done, thank you.